So I told you that I would do a beginner friendly tutorial version of creating this animation right here and I'm a man of my word. Let's get started. Let's hit shift A and add in a plane. Go to the edit mode with tab, scale down the plane a bit, then go out of the edit mode with tab again and in the particle properties right here click the plus sign and choose a hair particle system. So now head, hit shift A again and add in a force field and we want a turbulence force field. Let's move this force field to the side and under the settings here increase the strength to force field. Now let's select plane again and under the particle settings under the viewport display increase the strand steps here will make give more resolution to the hair and in the force field settings i'm going to play around with the size a bit let's set it to yeah, 0.5 is good then i'm going to decrease the number of hairs so it will be not that dense so decrease the number to let's say 250 and let's add some more strength of the force field yeah that's okay. Now we want to convert this whole thing to a mesh. So go into the modifier properties right here. And here we can convert this particle system into a mesh. Now Blender creates a copy of the mesh. So we want to deactivate it. So enable this um, restriction toggle right here. And let's turn off the original one from the viewport and from the render. Okay, great. Now we can go into the edit mode of the hair mesh that we converted and then just hit E to extrude it. Now the strands are all flat planes. To make them round, we are going to add in a solidify modifier. Can control the thickness. Now go up to the object, set object settings right here and set the mesh to shade smooth. And yeah, now we already get one of these wires. What you can do now is duplicate the whole mesh and in this one we can add some variations or so go into the edit mode, use O to activate proportional editing or you can click this button right here, select some vertice, any vertice and then just hit G and use your mouse wheel to control the radius. Now you can just distort this whole thing a little bit. You can even rotate and twist uh, the hair just to get some variation. Then go out of the edit mode. You can duplicate it even more. Rotate it on the Y axis with R and then hit the axis you want to choose. In this case the Y axis so just hit Y and then you can just rotate it. Position it next to the others. You can select all of these. Then once more rotate. Okay. Great. Now you can go into the rendered view. So now we want to add in a camera. So hit shift A again and add in a camera this time. Let's go inside to the wires and hit Control Alt and zero. This will snap the camera to the view. So now in the camera settings, change the lens type from perspective to panoramic. And the panoramic type, we want to be um, equi rectangular. And I'm going to turn off turn on render region in the in the output properties here so we only see what the camera actually um, will render at the end now we can see that we get these black spots on the wires and that's because these wires are clipping into the minimum distance of the camera so in the settings of your camera you can just decrease the clip start so let's add in a few more decimal zeros and that fixes the problem. Now all we have to do is, first of all, I'm going to turn down the strength of the world to zero. And then I'm going to add in a point light. Let's move it outside, increase the strength. Maybe move it inside, increase the radius. And I'm going to turn on denoising for the viewport. And now you can play around with the color of the light. Now. I also added a material to the wires, so just select one of the wires and let's drag and open a new view, split the blender viewport and change it to shader editor and here we can just add in a new material and we can call this wire 
mod serial and in these settings here i'm going to just add a little bit of subsurface scattering then i'm going to select all of the other wires and here in the material settings right here you have this um, arrow right here if you click this here you can choose copy this material to all of the others and now if you render this we have the same material for all of the wires now the material thing is done let's select the light again and you can play around with the colors a little bit you can even go with complete red also like to add a few more lights so duplicate light with shift d move it around you can change the color slightly for the second one now you can just move your camera through the scene what you could also do is go to the view here go to navigation and choose the walk navigation and now you basically have the controls of a video game with vasd and just move it and see what what is what gives you the most interesting results and now all you have to do is just keyframe the camera so hit i and add a keyframe to the location and the rotation of the camera go forward to let's say frame 250 let's activate the walk navigation again move through this whole thing maybe rotate it hit another add another keyframe select all your keyframes and let's make it right click on your mouse and choose the interpolation mode linear now if you move through this whole thing we get this weird trippy motion yeah this is basically how this whole animation was created just with different camera motion and moving through the wires and finding cool perspectives what you could also do is add depth of field to the camera click this checkbox right here you can choose the distance at which the camera focuses on and that's it on how to create a animation like this one check out the blender products on my gumroad page if you want to know how i create a full green screen shot i made a entire course on creating this shot right here so take a look at the descriptions to get further information on that